Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, people. Had one of the biggest breakthroughs throughout last night and this morning. And it it comes for me, you know, the sort of theme of this is, you know, don't deny who you really are. Throughout this journey and through a lot of my past videos, I've, you know, definitely been keeping to myself more and not wanting to be affected by the outside world and other people. So I've definitely said, you know, I've said things just like, I'm not going to say hi to people because I don't really care to make them comfortable and I just want to do my own thing. and. That is a part of me. That is a part of me. But last night, um, I was talking to one of my friends and I had an opportunity to move in with some people and he was just saying like, yo, man, there's opportunity to be social, to like be with people and like meet other people and like, you know, you might be getting a little too comfortable being in your own zone and, you know, he was, he was joking, but there was a lot of realism to that and it really hit me and I started to just think about how I've been you know, especially with the quarantine, it's been hard to feel comfortable because sometimes you'll be walking around, people will like move to avoid you and it's just, it's not a good feeling. But through last night and this morning, you know, I decided like, I figured out that it's not that, it's like I'm definitely, when in the, like in the past and some days when I say hi to people, it feels like out of, out of obligation and the second I get a bad response, it hurts me, or I get no response or get ignored. But I started to realize, like, okay, you know, what if, you know, I want to change this. So, you know, I went to bed and I was like, all right, my quota is to say hi to one stranger and to do it for myself so that I have that and not care how they respond. They ignore me, they say hi back they give a half-hearted high, they just grunt, whatever, it doesn't matter. And, you know, that was my plan. And then I woke up this morning, still not in the best mood, but, you know, I meditated, wrote in my journal, and I realized one of the things that I value as myself, one thing that, you know, is a part of me, is like, that I've been denying, is just the fact that I love to connect with people. I love connecting with people. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it is such a strong part of me. But in my journey of self-discovery and retreating into myself, I've sort of left that behind because I fear being inauthentic around people and feel that I have to be, you know, I, you know, it's, it's still a little hard for me to say what I really want to say and disagree with things and, you know, just be, you know, do that. It's still a little hard for me, but I'm getting better. But I realize I've been avoiding people because I don't want to experience that. And as a result, I haven't been able to be connecting with people. And at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. So this morning, I said, I'm going to say hi to one stranger. So I was walking, dude was fixing a tire on his car. He was just, he was focused, he saw me, and then he just, he just looked around, he looked behind him, behind himself like, huh? And I was just like, what's up, man? He's like, hey. I was like, okay, there's one. Just kept walking, old dude walking around with no shirt and his cane. You know, I looked, I looked, looked away, then I looked at him, I said, good morning. He said, good morning. God bless you on your travels. And I was just like, oh, wow, wow. Next thing, see a lady come out of her house, walking out looking really pretty. I was just like, good morning. And you know, she was just like, oh, good morning. Like, how are you? Good. I'm like, all right, awesome. Kept doing that, just kept walking. Even I came to this area and normally, you know, in my past videos, I've definitely been keeping to myself and like, you know what, I'm just gonna do my own thing. And I've sort of learned, you know, saw a lady walking around and I just came out. I was just like, good morning. How are you? And she was just like, good, fine. Smiled back and you know, then she walked out, and now I'm here. And, you know, if somebody else shows up, I'm going to do the same thing. Because at the end of the day, 
I like connecting with people and me saying hi to people is for me and not really for them. <laughs> I know that sounds selfish, but it's for me to just connect. I want to connect. I live alone and like, you know, it's definitely been getting to me and I just, I just want to connect. Um, and then another thing I realized is like, there's been a lot of people reaching out to me just to talk and hang out. And I've sort of been denying them because, you know, in the past, in our past relationship, I was more of just a person that agreed and I didn't feel like I was being my true self, but I'm realizing I just got to start doing that. And the only way I can practice that is by actually hanging out and being around other people. And just knowing that I, when I want to say something that's true to myself, just to say it and to do it. That's not going to be easy. And I'm definitely not going to figure that out overnight. But <sighs> this whole keeping to myself, getting to my head, being a whole loner. It's not me, man. It's not me. It's not me. I've, I've been in this state before. Um, and it's just, it's not, it's not, it's not me. It's not who I am. It's not. There are times when I want to be alone. There are times where I don't want to be around people. I do like living alone for that. And I, you know, I like being able to sort of have my space as my space. But also, I like to connect with people. And I love having conversations with people, conversations about anything. And I just want to be more authentic in those. And I just have to practice that by continuing to connect with people and with the people that I've already connected with being more real in our conversations, not lying to myself anymore about the things that I like, not lying to them about what I think about things and just being true and being real and, you know, at the end of the day, still being kind, still being courteous, not being, not being mean, not being a dick, but just being, like, honest. And, yeah, that's, whew, that was a big breakthrough of this morning, so... I just wanted to share that um, and you know as as I go through my discovery of finding out what's authentic to me and being honest with myself I'm discovering like being all closed off and shut off is, isn't isn't me ignoring people all the time isn't me sometimes sometimes you know you need that sometimes you need your space but for the most part you know I want I want to connect and you know, having that quota of a certain amount of people to say hi to. Like, even when I came in, there was a guy on a bike. And, you know, you're on a bike, you're on a run, you're kind of in your zone. I've been there. And then I said hi to him, completely ignored. But I was ready for that. I was ready for that. Because at the end of the day, it was for me. I was saying hi to him for me. And, like, if he didn't receive it, that's fine. If he's in his own zone, that's fine. It doesn't have anything to do with me. I don't have to take that personally. And I just realized in the past, the energy that I had saying hi to people was very much forced, very much like I had to just because we were crossing paths. And it's like changing my mindset to like, oh, I'm going to try to connect with this person just by saying hi. And being, like me being like, good morning. Most people are just like, oh, good morning. Like, I don't know if somebody's coming over there. If they are, I'm going to say good morning. And from now on, when I'm running around doing my things, I'll just say a good morning with a smile. Whether they receive it or not, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. And it just, it feels more like me. It feels like I'm being more me. Because I don't, ignoring people doesn't feel right to me. Yeah, so, just wanted to share that. Don't deny parts of yourself. Um, don't be afraid of being rejected because it's not a rejection it's just like you never know what someone else is going through what's going through their head how they feel and like you can never really change that and affect that but if you turn it into something positive for yourself such as me i know i like to connect with people i know i love that that is such a strong thing for me a strong belief and it's how i met a lot of my best friends and it's how i'm gonna make more friends and that's how i'm gonna be more honest with the the friends the people that i've met and everything so I'll leave you guys with that. I gotta go home and do a lot of work, <laughs> but I feel way better. Glad I got out the house, got some fresh air. Reminder for you to do that too. Take care, love you all, peace.